my co-founders and I knew, we knew we wanted to find something that had a lot of impact. Uh, and we both have family in the public health space, right? These are, these are people who are saying, hey, go look at this thing. We keep hearing about this vaccine campaign or that thing that's going on, uh, getting stuck on logistics, right? This kind of unsexy problem. Uh, and so we spent a bunch of time in Central America and Africa, just getting to know people, really trying to understand the problem. I'm a pretty skeptical person. So when we started this work, I was pretty sure we were going to get into it and basically figure out like this is never going to happen. Uh, but instead, when we actually got into it, we realized that actually there was supply and the customers really wanted this and the governments really wanted this uh, and the doctors really wanted this. Like this was a huge deal for them. When you meet a doctor who's dedicated their life to serving a relatively remote location, right? I mean, these, th these are some of the hardest jobs in the world. These doctors are dealing with 10 to 100 times more patients than a doctor would in a typical Western setting. Right? And they're well-trained and they're committed to what, these patients. Uh, and there's nothing more frustrating to them than having a patient in front of them that they know how to treat. And they just don't have the supplies to do that treatment. At its simplest form, we are like this magical portal where for a health system, they can keep all their supply in one place. Blood, uh, vaccines, all kinds of medical supplies are kept at the distribution centers, which is where the drones are launched from. And then orders come in directly to us, and within five minutes, that order is in the air on the way to that hospital or clinic that ordered uh, that blood or that medical supply. The impact in numbers on the blood side is huge, and that's been pretty well studied now in Rwanda because we've been operating there for a number of years. Uh, we've been able to virtually eliminate blood waste. We're talking about going from waste rates as high as you know 20, 30 percent down to less than 1%. We're talking about like 0.07% waste rate, which is just huge, right? We're really excited about that. And uh, so they did a study that included two of the hospitals Zipline was, uh, has been serving. Uh, and those hospitals achieved a maternal mortality rate of zero over a seven month period. Part of what that message is, is when they needed blood to treat a mother who was bleeding from complications to childbirth, they always had it. And that's just a really big deal. So we've been asked by uh, governments as well as some of these multinational organizations that are all getting ready to do a global vaccine campaign to distribute the COVID-19 vaccine that we're all counting on coming. And when it comes to really running a tight vaccine campaign, you need flexibility. First wave is all the, is all the high risk people. And then right away, you need to get the second wave folks, getting everybody who's not critical vaccinated helps protect the vaccinated and you need to be able to do this in waves very quickly so that you're using your vaccines efficiently, as opposed to saying, oh, we got these tra traveling crews of doctors going, carrying their own vaccines. They, they can't be that responsive. They can't do that really optimized um, campaign, which is just so important because we just know when the vaccine comes, it, you know, it's going to be in short supply for quite a while. And so efficiently getting it out to exactly who needs it to maximize its health impact is really important. Being able to say to a doctor, hey, you can count on getting what you need when you need it, don't worry about it. To me, that is just a magical thing. It's like, okay, all these doctors all around the world now have their supplies. And of course, we have a lot of scaling to do to actually do this globally. But like for every doctor, every health clinic we bring on, and we keep track of this every day, of like how many doctors we've added to the network every day. Like to me, that is, that is why I get up in the morning. That's why I do Zipline. Our North Star mission is to get everybody on Earth instant access to vital medical supplies, period. 